Here it is. What new news they got for us? And make sure it's the highest quality possible. Is that 4K? Ah, uh, not 4K. Also, that's okay. That's okay. Hello, everyone. I'm Hideaki Itsuno, the director of Dragon's Dogma 2. Yo. I'm the producer, Yoshiaki Hirabayashi. Dragon's Dogma 2 is a narrative-driven action RPG set in an immersive fantasy world designed to place player choice at the heart of the gameplay experience. Today, we'll present you with the latest news on Dragon's Dogma 2. First, check this out. Can't wait. Is it? Let's make sure it's bumping. At us, the bell is tolled on the age of the console. Yeah, welcome, bro. The return of the sovereign. Cat now presents. Welcome, Arisen. Mm. Horns have long awaited your arrival. Uh, beefy combat. Learn all you can of this world you must protect. <laughs> you just talk, what are you talking about? All be spared the horrors of the fell dragon. What do you mean? You saw me in there. Yeah, this, this looks looking good. <laughs> Iris, how about that you? If you're discovered, yours won't be the only head that rolls. What is your purpose here? When twas all but certain that her son would take his father's place. Hmm, that's a nice storytelling. Reach the castle that the Arisen had been found. Pitiable Arisen. Hey, Dallas! Oh, look at that. The battles were always epic. Oh, that combat. Oh, that's like a centurion. Okay, okay. This is not bad. Dragon Dogma 2. Okay, we got the intro trailer. Now give us the deets. I would gladly pass all to the wisdom I possess into your hands. Woo! It is March. It is the March game. How was that? We're excited to finally be able to reveal the release date for Dragon's Dog. March 22nd. First, let's go over what you just saw. That means no monster hunter in March. Emerging suddenly from the sea, we meet the giant Talos, who appears for the first time in this game, and who you will have to figure out how to stop. No way. We've prepared some additional gameplay footage of Talos, so take a look. Oh, damn. Dude looks a beast. What's his name? Talos? No, that armor looks Look fresh, though. I cannot but fear it will bring ruin wherever it treads. Oh, you got smart. You got to take those out. We shall halt it together. Now nah, keep hitting the crystal. To me, there are plenty of places our feet might find purchase on its hulking frame. Bro. Clutch claw? This where you went? To slow it down. It might be futile, but it is better than watching on in despair. Ooh. A with a for destruction is a nuisance nobody asked for. That's graphic. Let us be rid of it. Indeed. And where is it found, I wonder? Left unhindered, it will trample the world entire, but not on our watch. Let us attack with the nice. full sum of our strength. I feel like that bow is not doing no damage. By any means. Oh 
my. As you can see, why is it gonna look epic? Of combat experiences <laughs> depending on how you choose to tackle each situation. Keep your eyes peeled for more on Talos and its role. Talos. Dragon's Dogma is a tale of the Arisen, whose heart is taken by the dragon. While this sequel mirrors the world setting of the first game, the adventure takes place in a parallel world. Oh, it's not the same. Nah, no, this is not multiplayer. Is the human kingdom. Not in the way you think. You can create pawns and someone else can use them. The power struggle for the throne. To have her son take the throne, the queen regent Disa plots to set a false arisen. But why are pawns serving a false arisen? On the other hand, the Bistra nation of Batal treats pawns as the source of misfortune and instead worshiped a lambent flame to ward off calamity with Empress Nadinia at its center. Both kingdoms recognize the dragon as a threat. It is. But their thoughts towards pawns and the Arisen differ. What will happen to the player caught between the beliefs and plots of these two nations? Get smacked. You can learn more about some of the game's intriguing characters on our official website. So, check it out. Cool, got a story background. In addition to the main quest line, you can talk to the inhabitants of this world to receive various quests and deepen your relationship with them. For instance, let's look at this quest where you need to befriend some elven siblings. I like the world, it looks nice. Don't speak our tongue, do you? From this nope. moment forth, so long as you remain by my side, I shall interpret for you. Nenwen Mor Iwanon, Alkarwa Firnun Eldaya Menelume Sur Karil, Martyr Fa Nun Fionor, Minasvena Eralote. My friend, if e'er I have had need to call upon your aid, tis now. I beg of you to join me in my sister's rescue. Master, watch out! The gameplay is good. I feel like there's gonna be a big focus on story this time around. Tis even more nightmarish a sight than I had feared. My father battles the ogre while my sister is clutched in his fist. But there is still hope if I act quickly. Listen well, friend. I shall strike the beast's arm while my father holds its attention. This is as much as I can show you for today. Hopefully, you'll find the rest of the quest on your own. In the footage, you can see the sacred arbor, Four which is an elf settlement. The elves there communicate in their own language. And while the Arisen doesn't understand the language of the elves, if there's a pawn nearby who does, I think it's still they un unreal. Automatically translate it for you. These specializations that pawns can acquire will make each of them more unique. Ah. And hopefully more enjoyable to journey with. I'll see to it your burdens are shared between us pawns. That's how the multiplayer works. You create a pawn. It's only the pawn's personality that reflects the player. Just like in the first game, the player can freely create the Arisen and the main pawn. However, we've used photogrammetry technology to increase photorealism. Mm, looks good. While adding a way to simplify the process of creating characters. Let me see the fresh fade. Selecting images that resemble the kind of look you have in mind provides a more intuitive way to create your ideal character. Oh, what's the new ones? Now, I want to introduce the Trickster, a new vocation that's sure to bring something unique to your gameplay experience. <laughs> yeah, I can already tell. Exclusive to the Arisen, the Trickster is a vocation that wields the sensor and uses the smoke it produces to conjure illusions. What? By confusing the enemy into fighting themselves through illusions, 
for increasing the power of pawns beyond the normal parameters for a limited period of time, this vocation yeah, single play open world. Use of unique strategies. Oh, that's Trickster cool. Is a devious vocation that takes advantage of the enemy's enhanced behavior AI. It's a great fit for players who prefer to step back from the action and manipulate the battle from the sidelines. Yeah, looks pretty cool. Oh, that's the only new one. Next, we have a few additional details to share. Pre-orders for Dragon's Dogma 2 on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, and Steam start today. In addition to the standard edition, a deluxe edition will also be available. The deluxe edition includes additional items such as a special camping kit, along with other items that will help you prepare for your journey. Nice. Pre-orders of the standard edition will include bonus weapons for each of the four vocations available from the start of the game. And pre-ordering the deluxe edition will give you access to all the bonuses of the standard edition, plus access to additional accessories that can be equipped in-game. I hope you'll consider pre-ordering. Nice. So, what did you think? The development team is currently making final adjustments to Dragon's Dogma 2. We're all doing our best and hope you can wait a little longer until what the platform release of am I getting us on? That's hard. I, I can never decide. Let us show you some footage of the monsters we couldn't cover today. The Drake and the Doolahan. Ooh, Doolahan was good. Warrior and Sorcerer vocations, which were also in the first game. Thank you so much. And just like that. Yo, I like the fire effects on the weapons. Yo, that monster looks crazy. Okay, okay. All those years making Monster Hunter has helped him perfect it. Looks good. Mmm. Bam! I lost a long charge up. Ooh. Okay, let's see this one. Yo, this dude looks wild. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, that dude's the one. Oh, my. The magic always looks so good in this. Damn. Dragon Dama too. Alright. What do you guys think? Scared about there being potential P2 play to win aspect? Mm, I don't know. I mean the first game was pretty not too bad. Yeah, I mean how hard could it be that like, you need to I think those things are just there to help you out. I don't think that's man, they're necessary. The game is available. Definitely gonna be picking it up, play on the channel. You know, we always play Capcom games, especially if it's open world like that. Something we always dive into. Yeah, but this one, is, it it feels like more story based than action based. But we'll see how it goes as we get closer. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for coming out to the stream. Time for me to go get take care of some stuff. Currently watching my Sekiro almost done, bro. I love that series. So good. That one's doing good work. Stay smooth. Until next time. Derek Hamer, signing out.